stop the press guys rihanna sent me a package hey guys welcome back to my channel so this video is like impromptu i'm doing it real quick i really wanted to film because there's new fenty out we're coming out um i have the pleasure of having the new Fenty launches with me. I always open my PR packages on Instagram stories, but this one happened to be from Fenty Beauty. You have no idea um, how excited I am. So this is the package that we got. It's so nice. It's a nice traveling carry case. And inside of it, we have Rihanna's face on it and her Fenty shade. Um, which is 340. In here, at this top part, I'm gonna open this part first, we have um, introducing The Cure. Soft matte long wear foundations and the Instant Retouch Concealer. So whatever shade you are in the Fenty foundation, you are that shade in the concealer. The foundations now have 10 new shades. So there's two, 10 new in-between shades throughout the entire collection. Um, in my shade range, there's only one new shade. Um, the shade range that they sent me is actually spot on. So shout out to them for knowing what my shade was. On the left, on the far left, is 360 which is my sephora iq shade match this is what they match me to after trying literally every shade between 350 and 420 i've decided that at no point during the year am i one shade i would say that i'm a good mix between 360 and 390 because 360 is a neutral olive. I have neutral olive undertones, but I'm not this shade. It's too light for me. So it comes off a little bit ashy on me. Yeah, so they sent me 360, 370, 385, which is the new shade that they launched, and 390. I mix, I usually mix 390 with 410 um, in the summer. And then in the wintertime, I mix 360 and 390. So hoping that 385 may be the shade for me. Now on the bottom, a compact mirror, which is new, I've never seen that before. A compact mirror, these two new powders up here are instant retouch setting powders. At the bottom here, we have a Lil Precision Makeup Sponge Duo. And then we have the Precision Makeup Sponge, a full body foundation brush, a precision concealer brush, and a powder puff setting brush. So I'm super excited about this whole entire package. I feel blessed and honored. I'm gonna do a full face using Fenty again. I've done a video like this before. I am going to try the new foundation. Uh, bear with me on that. Okay, so we have the little sponge here. This is the regular sponge, which I love already. Um, one of my favorite sponges I've ever tried. It's very nice, it's very spongy. Here's the little sponges. These are actually bigger than the ones from Beauty Blender, which I am excited about. I'm not necessarily sure what I would use these for. I don't like little sponges because I have long nails and so it's hard for me to stamp anything out with a little sponge like this. So I'll probably just stick to the big sponge. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get sporty. Since we're doing a full face, we might as well use the primer. I do have the primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Primer and I'm just going to pump some of that on my face here. So, this is actually the first video that I'm filming for this year. So how are you guys? Um, I hope your new year is going well. Mine is going pretty well. My birthday was yesterday, so I'm really excited to be 27. So I have on my primer. Um, the primer, I forgot how much I like it. It actually feels really nice. It's not like, greasy or anything it's just really like nice it feels like honestly it feels like lotion um okay so i'm going to go ahead and try the 185 i'm not necessarily sure what the undertone of this is but i do want to pump some out as you can see 385 is in the middle 360 is on this side and then 390 is over here so as you can see up to my face 390 comes off a little bit too orange too warm 385 might be it. She might be the one. And then 360 is my perfect match, so they say. So I'm gonna swatch all three on my face just so you guys can get an idea of what they all three look like side by side. So as you can see, this is 360. It comes off a little bit ashy. 
it blends in pretty well actually now that i'm in the winter shade um but all all over the face it definitely comes out ashy like especially around my perimeter of my face it comes off ashy um this one she looks good sis mm. um, matching to the chest is preferred but i don't have my chest out today so and that's 390 so 385 is looking like a pretty good match so we're gonna use the full body foundation brush i'm gonna take whatever is left over on my hand here i'm just gonna paint i'm gonna paint that 385 all over how are we looking it looks good don't get me wrong once i highlight and contour 385 could definitely be it but that's 360. As you can see, 360, she's a little white skinned. Okay, she's definitely not. This is this is actually wait, 360. Wait a minute, I didn't know you did all that. Now, oh my God. <laughs> and I've never used this brush before. I like this brush too. So that is the foundation. How we looking, y'all? How we looking? Yeah, I'm not sure what to think, y'all. I'm not sure what my shade is. It looks like every. It looks good on camera, but I'm telling you. In the natural sunlight, I'm not really getting perfect match vibes. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to really try this out on multiple occasions and see. I'm gonna use 370 concealer just to be safe and I'm gonna like really, ooh. Okay, so this is the applicator. Well, first of all, here's the concealer. This is what it looks like. And it's a long doe foot. It's not like a, oh, I love this applicator. Okay, that's 370. It looks a little, too dark to highlight with, so I'm gonna use 360 concealer because I know that I want more of a highlight. <gasps> oh yes, Jesus, yes. <laughs> I love how much it applies. Oh my goodness, oh my God. This applies the perfect amount, like not too much, not too little. I love how much like surface area you cover with the actual applicator like it's long it's not like a little baby foot so it's not a doe foot it's like a i don't even know what kind of animal had a long foot a duck uh, i don't know anyways um i love this because i love the applicator i love the concealer too it feels very nice it looks very hydrating it doesn't like it's gonna dry me out or anything to me it kind of looks like um the Too faced concealer I don't know, we're gonna use the sponge and we're gonna blend it out. Um, okay, all right. That blended out very easily. It gives a nice coverage. I love that it's staying put, even though I'm going over it a couple times with the sponge, it's not like be getting patchy or moving. Yes, yes. I didn't use the concealer brush, guys, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to? I love sponges though. I like using sponges to blend out my concealer. Um, I probably should have used the concealer brush though. I'm having a really hard time getting this powder out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they didn't want these powders to pop out, did they? Oh, my concealer. Oh. We just gotta get this powder out. Hold on to your britches. In order to save time, because my concealer is drying and I need to set it, I'm just gonna use it in the actual package that I got. We're just gonna, um, I don't know what color this is because I haven't pulled it out yet. Oh, I'm blind. I can't see, but we got the powder on though. It is deeper than like a banana, but it is setting. It's nice, it doesn't feel chalky at all. So if you're going for a highlight, I would suggest going a shade lighter than this shade, whichever shade this is, because I can't see it because it's stuck in the bag. But this is a perfect, I'm gonna use the brush, the setting brush that came with it to set my entire face because this color is actually like my actual shade. This is the powder brush. Ooh, she feels nice, ooh. Ooh, oh yes. oh yes. So what it's looking like is, this is a very warm powder. For me, it's perfect. It's balancing out this foundation that I put on, the 385 that isn't exactly 
warm or cool, but it's giving a very nice finish. I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm gonna use my matchsticks and I'm going to use the uh, matchstick in the color truffle just to contour my face. I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to blend out the contour. Okay, so I was able to get the setting powder out. Um, this, the color that I use is the color Honey. This is what it looks like. It's actually really thick, so you get a lot of powder of what it looks like. You get a whole 0.98 ounces. Um, the powder that I usually use, the Huda Beauty, that's what it looks like in comparison. This one, you only get 0.71 ounces. Okay, you get one full ounce in Laura Mercier. So it's about the same size as Laura Mercier, just a little bit less, a tiny bit, 0.02 ounces less. So it's about the same as Laura Mercier. So yeah, uh, for me, this powder, like I said, is definitely not a highlighting powder for me. I would have to go up a shade. Um, I don't know what the other shade nut colors are, but I definitely would need to go a shade lighter if I wanted to highlight. For setting, it does set really well. It looks good. It looks like I don't have anything on, but to set my entire face, like for like, even if I wanted to do just like a regular everyday going running errands kind of look and just wanted to do that powder by itself as my face coverage, not even doing the foundation under it, definitely would say that that would be a move. Woo, girl, they package these really well. I mean, I was quite impressed when I opened the package. I'm like, usually my packages fall apart in the mail. All right, so I got this one out. This one is hazelnut. Um, they look about the same in deepness. One just looks more yellow and the other one looks more neutral. Yeah, this one appears to be a bit more neutral. I don't want to open it because I actually think I'm going to give this one away. Okay, so that's the concealer and the powder. Would I recommend it? Heck yes. Um, just like I said, make sure you get the right shade in the powder because depending on what kind of look you're going for, you're gonna wanna get a different shade. I'm going to do my brows now. There, I need Fenty to come out with a brow, with a brow product because I hate having to do these full face routines and then I still gotta use my own brow stuff. Come on, Ree. Um, Now that my eyebrows and my face are done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. Um, I have not talked about these on my channel before, so I figured I should. This is the Moroccan Spice Palette from Fenty. I love this palette. University Flattering, there's like literally every shade you need is in this palette. You really can't go wrong. This shade here. And I'm just blending that in my crease. This palette I use like a lot. Not every day, but I use it a lot. I really like it. Um, like I said, I feel like it's universally flattering. You can use it for so many different looks. So it's definitely good investment. Um, I'm not gonna do anything on the lower lash line. I am going to take this peachy color. Color of the year is coral, if you didn't know. The color of the year is coral. So we're gonna take this corally peachy color and put that on the lid. Since I have on coral already. All right, I'm gonna just take this color right here with my finger and I'm gonna just press that on top just to give a little bit of shim shim. I'm gonna take the Galactic, the Galaxy palette. As you can see, I use this one a lot because it is pretty much a mess. <laughs> I love this one right here. This color right here, it's just so bomb. I'm gonna take that with my finger and I'm just gonna press that on top to give a little bit of shimmer as well. If you like glitter, this is definitely gonna be up your alley. If not, don't do this because you will be upset. So those are the eyes. I'm gonna put on some mascara. Um, and the mascara I'm gonna use is the NARS Climax. I'm kinda thinking I'm gonna do a more Rihanna-esque look and not do any lashes. Cause Riri doesn't really wear lashes like that. I have not highlighted yet. We're gonna go ahead and find light. Um, I'm gonna use, to start, I'm gonna use Rum. And we're just gonna rub that on there and highlight with it. On the cheekbones as well. My handy dandy, always favorite, trusty, trophy, wife, okay? 
trophy wife is like my obsession i literally use this all the time i don't care what time of year it is um we're using it anyways because i just love it probably shouldn't have over highlighted for this look just so you guys could see like the matteness that this foundation powder concealer combination gives but i can't not highlight like i just can't and i love all of the other highlighters yes i have a ton of them but i don't i never not like trophy wife okay and last but not least the lips so for the lips i don't have a fenty lip liner so i'm gonna line my lips using ColourPop. I think this is um, one of the collabs that no longer exists. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip balm first. I'm gonna use Unbutton. Ooh, that's too much. That's Unbutton. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll have everything in the description box. Key takeaways. Um, the concealer you need, the powder you need. Um, these two were magic for me. And I think out of everything that I tried in this video, these two, you need to go get them when they come out because they're definitely bomb. This powder will last you a long time. Uh, it's really good. It's really smooth. It feels nice on my skin. Um, and it's set really well. Uh, like I said, it's if you get the shade that matches you perfectly, it'll give you this kind of like natural look. Um, but if you want to look super highlighted and glam and bada ow, bada ing, you want to get a lighter shade. But I definitely would recommend these two. Um, like I said, my concealer shade is 360 and my um, powder shade is Honey. It's worth the investment to buy any of their products. I love Fenty and I'm going to keep using them till the end of time. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Peace.